Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can automatically create table inside your Excel sheet using Power Automate. I have this Excel sheet as of now, this is having some data inside this Excel, but this Excel sheet is not formatted as table. And if I want to fetch this data from my Power Automate, I need this to be formatted as table. So how we can do that automatically, let's just talk about this. I'll go to my Power Automate and try to create an instant cloud flow. I'll manually trigger this, create table in Excel. And first I'll talk about if I want to fetch the data from my Excel sheet, how we can do that. So for that, we have this uh, operation list row present in table location i will select my site where this excel sheet is residing that is my this learn and tech site document library is documents and the file name is this user data dot file and as you can see here this is the table and as of now i'm not able to fetch the data because i don't have the table names and this is the mandatory field in case you want to fetch the data from that Excel sheet. So for that purpose, we need to create a table inside my Excel sheet automatically. So I'll go and add an action that is create table and I'll select location. So location is my learn and tech site because this excel file user data dot xlsx is inside my document library under this non and tech site right so i've given the location address document library name is documents file is user data dot xlsx and there is a table range option where i have to provide a range inside this specific excel sheet that uh, this amount of range I want to form it as a table. So as of now you can see I have data into my A1. This is my A1 and uh, this is my C7 cell. So A1 means column A row 1 and this is column C row 7. So from A1 to C7 I want to form it as a table. I'll go inside my table range and I'll type a1 colon c7 and then you have to define the table name in my case I'm giving this as in table 1 you can put any table names you want and then we have column name section if your excel sheet already has column names then you don't need to provide the column name but in case you don't have you can provide columns name here as well and you can provide multiple columns names separated by the semicolons or by comma. And one more thing into the table range section is, let's suppose your Excel has multiple sheets here. In my case, I only have sheet one. If you have multiple sheet, then you can provide sheet name before this table range. Like uh, I have sheet one and then exclamation mark and then table range and delete the second step save this flow my flow is saved and I'll try to run this manually continue run flow our flow ran successfully it has created table for us as you can see into the output section that is table one created i'll go to my user data dot xlsx and you can see this entire data is formatted as table so that's the way you can create a table inside your excel sheet automatically and in case you have you know the data different all the times means the increasing data so let's suppose as of now as of now i have data till c7 what happen if i have data till uh, you know c25 so in that scenario 
either we can dynamically pick uh, you know values from this excel but that will be a tedious task or lengthy task or either we can convert this entire excel sheet into a table that will be again a difficult one to use because that will throw you an error down the line in terms of size so what i will recommend is let's suppose you know that every time your excel sheet will have a you know the n number of maximum limit so let's suppose i know in my case uh, my excel sheet will have thousand data maximum right so what i can do is uh, instead of this c7 i can increase this to c1000 right so i'll go to my c7 i'll just make this c1000 so in that case it will create uh, this a1 to c1000 as an entire table and that's how you can deal with this issue i hope you like this video if you do like don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you so much for watching